You're getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With mommy and daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough, except when I've had enough. But there's lots of fun stuff. I'm Caillou. 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 I'm Caillou. <laughs> That's me. Clowning around. Rivers! We can make lots of rivers! Caillou! Leo! You have to get ready now, Leo. Your parents are here to pick you up. But we're playing. We're making rivers. I know, but it's time to go over to Grandma's. But I want to stay and play with Leo. I'm sorry, Caillou, but we really have to go now. I have to take Rosie to the doctor for a checkup, and you're going to visit Grandma. Caillou was very disappointed that he couldn't stay and play in the backyard with Leo. Hello, Caillou. Hi, Grandma. Caillou was still wishing he could have kept playing with Leo. Would you like to go out and play in the backyard? Is there something upsetting you today? I wanted to stay at home with Leo. You have fun playing with Leo, don't you? He's my friend. Well, is there something else you would like to do? I know. I borrowed a book from the library yesterday. I thought we might read it together. Okay. At first, Caillou wasn't really interested in the book. It wasn't as exciting as playing with Leo in the backyard. But Caillou soon found the book more interesting. Caillou and Grandma read the book about the clown festival. Caillou enjoyed the book so much, he <laughs> forgot all about wanting to play with Leo. I like the clown party book, Grandma. You do? Well, why don't we have a clown party of our own right here? But where will we get the clowns? We'll make puppet clowns. Caillou loved making things with Grandma. Hello, Grandma! First, they glued orange wool on the top of a bag for Clown's hair. And already, Caillou got some ideas. I'm going to color this clown with green polka dots and the other clown with red polka dots. And while Caillou colored the clowns, Grandma started to make a puppet theater for the puppets. She cut up a big cardboard box. This is fun. We can make a clown dog, too. Hello, Grandma. My name is Papa Do the Clown. Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> Grandma, Caillou, we're back. Hello. My name is Bopadoo, and I can't find my dog. Woof! 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 Has woof, anyone woof, seen woof, my woof. dog? Here, doggy! Yay. Here, doggy! Woof! Doggy! Very good! Yay. Encore! Yay. Encore! Yay! You can have Leo over all day tomorrow, Caillou. Yay! We can play puppet clowns. Read all about it. La, la, bum, 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 drum, drum, Caillou bum, was having drum, fun playing drum, with his drum and drum, making a lot of noise. La, bum, bum, Caillou, drum, bum, can you keep it down, please? La, la, drum, 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 la, la, Caillou was making so much noise drum, that he couldn't hear his mommy asking him to be quiet. Caillou, come down here, please. Hi, Mommy. I'm playing with my drum. Yes, I can hear that, but I'm reading now, and I would appreciate it if you were quiet, okay? What are you reading? A very good book. Caillou loved it when Mommy read to him. Can you 
read it to me? Well, this is a grown-up book, and I don't think it'll interest you all that much. But I'm on my last page. It'll just take me a moment, and then we can read one of your books together, okay? Caillou didn't feel like looking at his books. He wanted Mommy to read him a new story. Are you finished yet? There, all done. Have you chosen a book for us to read? I want a new story. Well, I know exactly the place where we could find all sorts of new stories. At the library. Can we go, Mommy? Sure. I have to return this one today. That's why I was in a hurry to finish it. Caillou was very happy to be going to the library with his Mommy. Hurry, Mommy! I want to get a book, too! Shh, Caillou. You have to be quiet in the library. Caillou had been to the library before. But he forgot that he was supposed to be very quiet. There are a lot of people that come here to read and work. We have to be quiet so we don't disturb them. Okay. Can I get a book now? Caillou knew there was a different floor where they had all sorts of picture books. And he was in a big hurry to get there. I know where the picture books are, Mommy. Then lead the way. You certainly do know your way around, Caillou. Caillou loved looking at all the colorful books. There were so many. It was hard to choose which one he would borrow. Hello, Caillou. What a nice surprise. Look, Caillou, it's Clementine's mommy. I didn't know you worked here. I volunteer once a month for story time. In fact, it's just about to start. Would you like to come and sit with us, Caillou? Can I, mommy? Of course you can. I'll go browse around for a new book. I'll be back later, okay? Would you like to help me choose the story for today? Can we read this one? Baxter the Bashful Bear. That's an excellent choice. Clementine's mom first read the story about Baxter the Bashful Bear. Then she read another story, and then another. They were all new to Caillou, and he thought they were wonderful. The end. Did you all enjoy the stories? Yay! I see that story time was a success. Baxter is very funny, Mommy. You can tell me all about him on our way home. I don't want to go. I want to stay and look at the books. Would you like to take these ones home with you, Caillou? When you bring them back, you can choose some new stories for story time, okay? Okay. Now take very good care of them so that the other children can read them after you're done. Daddy, look! I have new books! And you have your own library card, too. We had story time with Clementine's mommy, and she read stories about Baxter the Bashful Bear. That sounds like a lot of fun. Can you read them to me? I sure can. Over the next few days, Caillou read his new books over and over with Mommy and Daddy, and Rosie too. In fact, he had read them so often that he forgot they were only borrowed until it was time to return them to the library. Caillou, come on, we're going to the library. Okay, Mommy. Don't forget to bring back the books you borrowed. Caillou had accidentally colored on one of the books that belonged to the library. Oh, no. He didn't mean to do it, but now he was afraid of bringing them back. I'll meet you here right after story time, Caillou. Okay, Mommy. Hello, Caillou. I was hoping you'd come back soon. Did you come to return the books you borrowed? Caillou was worried that Clementine's mom would be upset when she saw the book with the crayon scribbled on it. Can I keep them? Wouldn't you rather take some new ones instead? I'll tell you what. If you return the Baxter books, you can borrow this one about the ten little piglets. We'll be reading about them at story time today. Is this your drawing, Caillou? Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't mean to. Don't cry. There's no harm done. 
You're not mad at me? No, these books can take a little punishment. They clean right up, look. And besides, it was an accident, right? It's all gone. I can tell you're very good with crayons. Would you like to draw something that we can put up on the wall in the library? I'm going to draw Baxter the Bear. a story about the ten little piglets. The story must have been very funny. And Clementine's mommy put my drawing up on the wall. That's wonderful, Caillou. Let's bring your books to the counter so we can take them home. I want to do it. Caillou is happy to take home a new book again. And this time, he would be extra careful with it. Goodbye, Caillou. See you soon. Bye! Mom for a day. I have to go to a business meeting. Mm. And I won't be home until very late. Mm. Do you think you could help Daddy while I'm gone, Caillou? Yes, Mommy. What's wrong, Caillou? Mommy never puts cheese on Rosie's macaroni. She doesn't like it. Juice? Daddy, Mommy always adds a little water to Rosie's apple juice. Oops, I forgot. You're absolutely right, Caillou. What would I do without your help? Hmm, what about Gilbert? What's his routine, Caillou? <laughs> Sure, he has fresh water and food. Eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. <laughs> I found you. Who <laughs> knew whenever he hurt himself, Mommy always kissed his boo boos until he felt better? Get better, Rosie. I'm the daddy, and you're the baby, Rosie. Caillou was having a wonderful time playing house with Rosie. But Rosie was getting tired. I think somebody's ready for a nap. was bored and wanted to play with Rosie, but he knew he wasn't allowed to make noise when she was taking her nap. Achoo! Uh, achoo! Caillou, did you wake Rosie up on purpose? Maybe you should go and play in your room for a while until supper's ready, okay? Rosie, you have to eat everything on your plate if you want dessert. Look, Caillou ate everything. Rosie, look! This is an airplane. Open wide for the plane. Room. <laughs> I wonder what Mommy would do to make Rosie stop fussing. I know. You're a tired little girl, Rosie. You have to go to bed. Daddy, you forgot to read us a story. Well, why don't you read us the story tonight, Caillou? Okay. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away. Caillou, Rosie, what are you two still doing up? Shh, Daddy's asleep. <laughs> plays baseball. He's batting 365, but his first base play is off. Daddy, what's a base? The bases are what the batter runs around after he hits the ball. He wants to get to as many bases as he can before the ball is caught. 
Kaio didn't quite understand what his daddy was talking about. Hooray! He hit a home In the run! bottom of the ninth! Oh, what a great game. <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> I want to play baseball, Daddy. Here's a glove, Daddy. Thanks, Caillou, but here's the baseball glove. This is the glove Grandpa gave to me when I was little, and now I'm giving it to you. Wow! Thanks, Daddy. Here, let me throw you one so you can try out the glove. Oops! Oh, no! <laughs> That's why Mommy says don't throw balls in the house, Daddy. <laughs> I guess you're right, Caillou. Caillou was all ready to learn how to play baseball. Okay, Caillou. The first step to playing baseball is learning how to catch. Okay. Good catch, son. Your turn, Caillou. <laughs> Throwing and catching the ball weren't as easy as they looked. That's okay. Next time, try to catch it with both hands. That's what beginners do. Did someone lose this? Hello! I'm playing baseball, Mr. Hinkle. Baseball? My favorite game. I used to be quite a player when I was a kid, you know. Here, Caillou. Catch! I think this glove is broken, Daddy. It takes a bit of practice to learn how to catch a ball. Here. Let me show you how to hold your mitt. No! It seemed to Caillou that everyone knew how to play baseball. Everyone, except him. You know, I didn't know how to throw and catch very well when I started playing. <laughs> I'll say he didn't. When your dad started learning how to play, there were quite a few broken windows around the house. But he got the hang of it soon enough and had a great time playing. Really? Sure. Here, catch. I hate baseball. What do you say we take a little break and go to the park, Caillou? Wow. Throw it back, Caillou. Go on, try. Good throw, Caillou. Caillou was happy he made a good throw. Guess your practicing this morning paid off. We usually come to practice every day. If you keep practicing, maybe you'll be able to play with us soon. Daddy, can you show me how to hold my glove now? It takes a little time to get used to the feel of catching a ball in a glove. Try to do this a few times. Keep at it, and soon you'll be able to catch the ball in the glove almost every time. Catching a ball still wasn't easy. But Caillou was having fun now. <laughs> Give that back, Gilbert. Catch, Gilbert. Daddy. That's okay. Here, catch. I caught it! I caught it! I can play baseball. Almost. You still have to learn how to bat. No one told him there was still more to learn. Hang on, Caillou. Let me give you a hand. If you hold the bat this way, it will help you be a good hitter. And it helps to stand like this. Now, just keep your eye on the ball. Caillou just wanted to hit the ball. When can I hit it, Daddy? Now! I did it! I did it! Run to first base, Caillou! Run! 
the other way. Caillou, run! Hooray! <laughs> I like batting. So do I. You hit to me first, Sarah. Caillou couldn't believe how far Sarah hit the ball. I can't do that. Or that. Not yet, but you'll be able to someday if you keep practicing. But I want to play a game. Okay, come on. First base, Caillou! Run! <laughs> it's a home run! I like baseball, Daddy! <laughs> so do I, Caillou. Like father, like son. <laughs> <laughs> are here to pick you up. But we're playing. We're making rivers. I know, but it's time to go over to Grandma's. But I want to stay and play with Leo. I'm sorry, Caillou, but we really have to go now. I have to take Rosie to the doctor for a checkup, and you're going to visit Grandma. Caillou was very disappointed that he couldn't stay and play in the backyard with Leo. Hello, Caillou. Hi, Grandma. Caillou was still wishing he could have kept playing with Leo. Would you like to go out and play in the backyard? Is there something upsetting you today? I wanted to stay at home with Leo. You have fun playing with Leo, don't you? He's my friend. Well, is there something else you would like to do? I know. I borrowed a book from the library yesterday. I thought we might read it together. Okay. At first, Caillou wasn't really interested in the book. It wasn't as exciting as playing with Leo in the backyard. But Caillou soon found the book more interesting. Caillou and Grandma read the book about the clown festival. 
Caillou enjoyed the book so much, he <laughs> forgot all about wanting to play with Leo. I like the clown party book, Grandma. You do? Well, why don't we have a clown party of our own right here? But where will we get the clowns? We'll make puppet clowns. Caillou loved making things with Grandma. Hello, Grandma! First, they glued orange wool on the top of a bag for clown's hair. And already, Caillou got some ideas. I'm going to color this clown with green polka dots and the other clown with red polka dots. And while Caillou colored the clowns, Grandma started to make a puppet theater for the puppets. She cut up a big cardboard box. This is fun. We can make a clown dog, too. Hello, Grandma. My name is Papa Do the Clown. Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> Grandma, Caillou, we're back. Hello. My name is Papa Do, and I can't find my dog. Woof, 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 woof. Has woof, anyone woof, seen woof, my woof. dog? Here, doggy. Very good! Yay. Encore! Yay. Encore! Yay! You can have Leo over all day tomorrow, Caillou. Yay! We can play puppet clowns. Read all about it. La, la, bum, 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 drum, drum, Caillou bum, was having drum, fun playing drum, with his drum, drum, drum and drum, making a lot drum, of noise. Caillou was making so much noise that he couldn't hear his mommy asking him to be quiet. Caillou, come down here, please. Hi, Mommy. I'm playing with my drum. Yes, I can hear that, but I'm reading now and I would appreciate it if you were quiet, okay? What are you reading? A very good book. Caillou loved it when Mommy read to him. Can you read it to me? Well, this is a grown-up book, and I don't think it'll interest you all that much. But I'm on my last page. It'll just take me a moment, and then we can read one of your books together, okay? Caillou didn't feel like looking at his books. He wanted Mommy to read him a new story. Are you finished yet? There. Done. Have you chosen a book for us to read? I want a new story. Well, I know exactly the place where we could find all sorts of new stories. At the library. Can we go, Mommy? Sure. I have to return this one today. That's why I was in a hurry to finish it. Caillou was very happy to be going to the library with his mommy. Hurry, Mommy! I want to get a book, too! Shh, Caillou. You have to be quiet in the library. Caillou had been to the library before, but he forgot that he was supposed to be very quiet. There are a lot of people that come here to read and work. We have to be quiet so we don't disturb them. Okay, can I get a book now? Caillou knew there was a different floor where they had all sorts of picture books, and he was in a big hurry to get there. I know where the picture books are, Mommy. Then lead the way. You certainly do know your way around, Caillou. Caillou loved looking at all the colorful books. There were so many. It was hard to choose which one he would borrow. <laughs> 